The first shipment of 35,000 metric tons of diesel, purchased under the 500 million US dollar Indian credit line, arrived at the Colombo port last night. According to Chairman of the Ceylon Petroleum Corporation, Sumit Vijay Singh, unloading of the shipment began this morning. The credit line was finalized last month with the condition that 75% of purchases need to be procured from India, while the remaining 25% from sellers outside India. Further, another shipment of 35,000 metric tons of petrol also purchased through the credit line is expected to arrive in Sri Lanka on Thursday, the 24th this month. With continuous shipments of diesel and petrol expected through this facility, the CPC chairman says that panic buying must stop, otherwise further shortages may be experienced. He added that sufficient stocks are being distributed to refueling stations at the moment and the process will continue uninterrupted. Despite fuel being purchased through the Indian credit line, the CPC, however, is still unable to secure the necessary dollars to clear the 40,000 metric ton shipment of diesel anchored in the Sri Lankan seas. The cost of this shipment amounts to 42 million US dollars. The failure to secure this shipment at demerage costs amounting to 19,000 US dollars daily, which means a higher final bill. In the meantime, operations at Sri Lanka's only petroleum refinery located in Sapugaskanda was halted by the Ceylon Petroleum Corporation yesterday for a period of two to three weeks due to the lack of adequate stocks of crude oil.